finally, the Bronx has come back to the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Just entered the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. We're gonna look for our buddy Doug from Don't Talk to Robots. And of course, we're gonna find some cards, collectibles, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So come along, have some fun. Let's see what we've got here in the Windy City. So here's my first purchase of the day. There's 20 cards here. So it's two bucks a piece for 40 bucks. We got a relic card of Manny Machado. A couple Miguel Cabrera Donners, the rookie cards. There's that. Casey Mine Stadium Club rookie. That was like one of those look. Benny Mendick autograph card. Bought a couple Jared Kelton cards. Got a Brian Reynolds, a fine work early, or I should say star from the Pirates. Some Jonathan India. There's some more Jared Kelnick. Jonathan India again. I mean, he's going to have another good season. Unfortunately, the Reds don't have a whole lot of talent around him as a lad. For Brian Hayes, a rookie card. I'm not giving up yet on Alec Baum. Kristen Pache. Throw a rookie card to Joey Bart. Another Jonathan India. That's an update. Then a couple Mounties. Ryan Mountcastle, who I think is going to have a big year, even though they moved the fences back at Camden Yards. Let's tell you what else we can find here at the Chicago Sports Hotel. Sometimes in the hobby, we get too wrapped up in value. I got this for a dollar, and it's probably not even worth that, but I think this is just a cool card. I always like the Rally Monkey, so I'm happy to add that to my collection. This is the third time in about nine months I've come to Chicago for the Chicago Sports Spectacular, and this one seems by far the busiest of the three times I've been at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. Good things in the hobby, lots of fun stuff, and we're going to keep looking around and seeing what we can find. This table is definitely getting it done. Look at all these cards here. Some great Michael Jordans, $12,000, $15,000, in addition to a whole bunch of other sweet autographs. This is through the decades, and they I think they're winning the decades here. Look at this. Awesome stuff. Taking a little break on the first floor of the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center and found a place to record some video. Got some stuff done with Doug from Don't Talk to Robots, and I urge you to check out both the Baseball Card Illustrated channel and his channel, Don't Talk to Robots, throughout the course of the week to see some great stuff from the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center at the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Now some purchases that I'm pretty excited about. First of all, this one, a Sparky Anderson card from the 1971 top set. I've been putting together a collection of Sparky over the last year or so, so I'm happy to add those to my collection. I picked up a couple rookie cards of Anthony Volpe, doing a little prospecting there. Uh, this is a great deal, $2 for an Aristides Aquino autograph card. I'll try to do that without glare so you can actually see it. Two bucks for that one. I know he's not quite the same since his big breakout performance, but for two bucks, I'll definitely make that purchase. Got this Shoei Otani card for two bucks. I thought that was a nice deal with a black border short print variant. Or I should say parallel. We got this Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card, a debut rookie for two bucks. That was a purchase I was pretty happy with. Got a Christian Yelich Bowman, first Bowman card. Again, two bucks, really happy with that. And I bought this Jesus Lazaro card for five bucks. It's autographed. And then you'll see this video later in the week here on the channel. But I actually got this out of this blaster box right here. That's a Wander Franco short print. Now let's go back inside and see if we can find any other great purchases to share with you. Now to take a look at some of the final purchases I made, starting with this card of the straw, Daryl Strawberry. Card right here that I was really excited to see. And one of my favorite players, a guy that I believe definitely belongs in the Hall of Fame. It's an autograph relic card of the crime dog, Fred McGriff. One of my mom's, <laughs> excuse me, favorite players, favorite pitchers, this guy, Warren Spawn. This is obviously when he was coaching with the New York Mets, but I figured this would be a nice little thing to add to my collection. Got to have some Giannis, and here's a Donruss Crunch Time card. I don't know a whole lot about this, but happy to pick this one up. This was three bucks. And then you can put it on the board. Yes! Ken Hawk Harrelson. One of the fun aspects of the Chicago Sports Spectacular is the autograph pavilion. They had quite the selection of autograph guests here, including Dominique Wilkins, Broncos legend Terrell Davis, David Ortiz. You can see someone with one of his jerseys on right there with a the cowboy hat or whatever he's got going on. And Miguel Tejada making what they termed as a rare appearance. Lots of great guests here at the Chicago Sports Spectacular. And that's a wrap from the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Hope you had a good time. 
I certainly found some good cards. Had fun hanging out with Doug from Don't Talk to Robots. On behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, I'm Bronco, the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Chicago Sports Spectacular on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.